1800 meters. Flags up and they racing. Pomazelis on the inside is prominent. Right up there is Batic, Lady Regent. The blue is in search of a better position. And Lady Regent presses on by with streets ahead. Cape Lights trying to get over with a sheepskin noseband. The pink sleeves and the pink cap. Pomazelis, after breaking wells against the fence, only three or four lanes off them. Chicks for free. Then comes Batic on Pity Pat behind that Midnight Crystal. Coffee in Seattle racing about eight or nine lanes off them as they crack on. Elusive Madam is racing behind them is about 12 lengths in it already they're going a decent tempo behind that one is raising a storm who's further back than ideal and sassy's going to have to get past them all the black jacket with a pink cap so streets ahead freewheeling doing it by just over two and a bit lengths no excuses cape lights they're in second lady regents in third chicks for free then comes pomazellas coiled up waiting to pounce about five lengths off the leader on pity pat then comes batty coffee in seattle elusive Madam behind them, Midnight Crystal, Sassy and Raising a Storm is the back marker. And I would say there's 12 lengths in it. Off the false rail they go. Streets ahead and Cape Lights, Lady Region. Pomazellis on the inside, then comes on Pity Pat. Coffee in Seattle on the outside is Elusive Madam and Sassy is trying to run on. But Cape Lights, the ribbons have been cut and she goes for home. She's got a length to spare. Pomazellis, Lady Region, streets ahead. Cape Lights got to the lead. Pomazellis on the inside. Lady Regent going to have the last crack, but it's Cape Lights and Lady Regent. Lady Regent coming home best of all, and Lady Regent got to the front. Cape Lights is flat to the boards in second, but Lady Regent going to go on and win a very good race. Cape Lights in second, Pomazellas run third, maybe Midnight Crystal for fourth just ahead of... Even if your pitch is perfect in the middle and your lights run...